Southwest Florida's news leader. This is Wink News at 6.30. TVs, long lines, and snagging good deals. It must be close to Black Friday. Tonight, we show you the shoppers who already started hitting the stores and escaping the wildfire, an interview you'll see only on Wink. One family got out of Paradise, California, seeking safety in Southwest Florida. Plus, saving the wetlands, how the government is helping better the ecosystem with new incentives. Well, the holidays are here and the holiday shopping has already begun. Tomorrow's one of the biggest shopping days of the year. However, that doesn't stop some shoppers from hitting the stores early. Wink News reporter Kelsey Kushner went to the Best Buy in Fort Myers to check out the crowds. The shoppers beware the outrageous deals that bring out bargain hunters also attract criminals. At Best Buy here in Fort Myers, these experienced deal hunters gave us some safety tips they use. If you're lining up, stay behind the guardrail and if possible in a well-lit area. Talk to your kids about asking a security guard for help if they get lost. Other Black Friday pros told us they've seen people lose lots of money to scammers who are lurking outside, so stick with the stales inside the store. Um, definitely the tent for a night and then the rails, which is good for the cars because there's a lot of cars coming in at night. And the guys here are going in asking you to buy them a gift card. They walk to their car, they cancel the gift card. You got it worthless. And the lady got ripped off last year, $750. So this is real simple. Lock your belongings in your car or even drop high dollar items off at home before you go to the next store. Well, it's our save season of savings, and a Wink News investigative reporter, Allison Gormley, explains where you can get the best deals. Only on Wink, a daring escape. A California family barely got out when their hometown went up in flames. This is video of the Snow family driving right past that fire. I yelled at my mom. I said, get dressed. We need to leave now. Now they're in Cape Coral enjoying Thanksgiving, and only on Wink News, reporter Anika Henniger explains they have a lot to be thankful for. And they say they do not plan on moving back to Paradise, California. Well, what's affordable housing in Collier County? Some say $1,000, for others around $1,500 for rent, but many believe those don't exist. So the county commissioners are tackling that problem. They want to develop Collier County-owned land called the Bembridge Site. It's located on Santa Barbara Boulevard between Radio Road and Davis Boulevard. And they've agreed to accept bids to build it. The site could fit up to 78 units, and thanks to the one cent sales tax, it's one of the many solutions to get the process started. We're retired and it's easier for us, but for people with children, I can't imagine how difficult it must be. And by the way, your rent or mortgage, it shouldn't be more than 30% of your gross income. Data compiled by Collier County shows almost 30,000 households there pay more than 50% of their monthly income for housing. Well, ditching the lines in the crowd, some people decided to have a relaxing holiday here on the beach. After months of red tide, today's nice weather made for a perfect day on the sand. And Wink News reporter Brendan Leslie went to Fort Myers Beach to talk with some people, including one visitor who's 101 years old. Thank you, Brendan. Well, new tonight, a suspected car burglar is off our streets. Cape Coral police say 19-year-old Joshua Clemens broke into at least four cars and stole things from inside. Officers say they found the stolen goods in Clemens' backpack and gave it all back to the rightful owners. Now he's facing several charges. New details tonight. Next week, we should have a better idea of what will happen to the sludge that was dumped on this site in Dunbar decades ago. The city of Fort Myers says that's when its contractors will provide the state with a transportation and reuse plan for approval. That has to happen before workers can dig up and remove the arsenic-tainted sludge. Crews already removed 11 truckloads of mulch from the location, and they're expected to complete that part of the project early next week. Well, right now, the cooler weather has manatees searching for warmer water, and that means they're heading up the Caloosahatchee. FWC is reminding boaters to use caution and follow those posted speed limits. Wink News reporter Gina Tomlinson tells us it's particularly important for this time of year after red tide took so many of these manatees from us. A manatee park just off of Fort Myers is just starting to have sightings of the manatees. Park attendants tell us they spotted the first two manatees of the season last Sunday. More than 750 volunteers began this holiday helping prepare thousands of turkey day meals. They're part of our community's hunger relief effort, feeding the 5,000. That group has actually fed more than 70,000 people since it started. This year, they delivered more than 4,000 meals to Southwest Florida families in need. 
turkey and gravy and cranberries. Seeing the people, and giving it to the people and how thankful they are to get the meal on Thanksgiving. That's, that's what it's always been. It's, it's just that they're so thankful. I think this Feeding the 5,000 is probably the best example of the joy of feeding others. Here's your Volunteers delivered meals throughout five counties today to put food on the table and smiles on the faces of families living in Florida. Well, making sure 1,000 people have full stomachs this Thanksgiving Day, the Salvation Army also served people a full feast in Lee and Hendry counties. The organization spent weeks preparing to welcome the hundreds of neighbors in need this year. This is something every year myself my family does every year with the Salvation Army. We go back to the community. It's a great thing the Salvation Army does here every year, feeding the, the people in need in Lee County, and it's happy Thanksgiving to all. The Salvation Army doesn't only help on holidays, but has different programs that give back to the community year-round. And it's a beloved and time-honored tradition here in Southwest Florida. Tomorrow night, the Edison and Ford Winter Estates, they're going to kick off their 43rd holiday night celebration with the annual tree lighting ceremony. This is video from previous years. This year, organizers say the event will offer visitors an impressive light show with more lights and new displays and decorations. And the fun all starts at 6 tomorrow evening. A pony on the loose. Cape Coral officer Matt Mills was headed home from work early this morning when he came across this pony looking for his Thanksgiving dinner. This miniature pony made it back home safe and sound for the holiday. And speaking of animals, here's a live look at the Eagle Cam in North Fort Myers. Southwest Florida's favorite bald eagle, Harriet, laid two eggs within the last week. This egg should hatch 30, 35 days, so that means we could have some Christmas eagle babies. You can trust Wink News to keep you posted on when those eggs start to pip and then when they start to hatch. Always exciting to watch it that. It is. I remember last year we were just so excited to see the little babies come out, and then they're so adorable. They really were, and uh, it's, it's kind of a cool night by Florida standards for the eagles. Definitely. We're going to see those temperatures continuing to work their way down into the lower 60s throughout most of southwest Florida. Then we're going to see even cooler conditions coming through with another front by next week. Even some highs will be in the 70s, so we do get a break from the 80s for the next couple of days coming in. So Starting Tuesday, look at that Channing 70s. I'm there. not going to complain about that. <laughs> All right, well, the Big Bang Theory is next on WXCW, and Wink News continues on a Wink TV in just a moment. <laughs>